Well, the players here at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu are going to have the sun shining down on them. They'll be looking forward to that, no doubt. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Madrid facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles, will win the game. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Tony Kroos starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. And this confrontation is underway. Jude Bellingham. Well, spot on with that challenge. plays with a positional sense that is second to none and Bellingham determined defending well he's certainly not alone but the danger averted for now Rodrigo Vinicius Junior Can he put it away? Oh, what a wonderful chance for the opening goal Well, that was a great chance They should be in front now Frankie de Jong Joao Felix and Barca exploiting the space on the wing. This looks promising. It's a Barcelona corner. They favoured a short one here. Nicely blocked by Kors. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Jude Bellingham. Referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. And playing it through. Possession seeded by the Merengues. Lewandowski. Promising move from Barcelona. Kunde. On to Gundogan. No way through. Really good challenge. Oriol Romeu. Lewandowski. Simple save, really. 
Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. And he's made the run. Well, body in the way. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Now that'll be a Barca throw. And a strong tackle. Rodrigo. Oh, fancy footwork. And running through to the keeper. Lewandowski. Read it well. Rafinha. It's with Gundogan. Might be a chance here. Nicely saved. Federico Valverde. Rodrigo. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Vinicius Junior. Valverde and denied by the post well Real can count themselves a little bit unlucky not to be leading here a matter of inches but you sense a goal is coming yes a really open flow to the game end to end stuff that's a very fine piece of tackling Vinicius Junior well it could be on for him here Oh, he stopped it! Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Time for a change, then. Cross with the corner. And the goalkeeper really exuding confidence. De Jong. And Barcelona finding space on the flank. A fine reading of the situation. Well, these Real fans believe there's still one more big chance coming their way to win this game. What a finish we've got on our hands here. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Wonderful chance! And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Pedri. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there goes the final whistle. And disappointment for Real Madrid. Three points squandered. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it conceding so late on.
Well, plenty to like about what